Hello viewer, welcome to another video tutorial. This is my last video on MongoDB basic queries where I will discuss about projection, limit and skip method. In my next video of this series, I will show you how we can use MongoDB with Blazor project with complete CRAD operation. And at the end of this video, I will introduce you with MongoDB Compass where we can see our created database and collections. We can also create DB and tables from MongoDB Compass just like SQL Server Management System. So let's start today's tutorial. Go to C Drive, Program Files, MongoDB, Server version 4.4, bin, mongo.exe first i'm gonna check my existing database so show dbs sorry dbs now i'm going to create my own database name is school db school db now i'm going to create a students table or collection Create collection name is students. Okay, done. Now I will insert some student data into this document or table. Students dot search name. Shakib role 001 and age 22. Insert it once successfully and then Rohit 228. Then Russell one zero zero three twenty five twenty five and then most thirty one and last one another Russell. 1005 s35 okay done so db students dot find these are the students now i am going to apply projection on this table what is projection projection means showing specific attributes or property name of an object list here we can see there are four attributes in individual object id name role age now i want to show only name property of this table so how we can do it find second bracket comma second bracket within this name one means true press enter here it is but by default it's showing its primary key id now i want to ignore this id too so what i have to do id zero false here it is within this first second bracket I have to mention name should be Russell and I want to see only name and age true and I want to ignore primary key okay these are the basic of 
projection now i am going to show you the use of limit and escape method let's see how we can apply it on this student table db.student.find.limit2 want to get first two student this one shakib and rohit now if i want to skip first one it this means skip first one and take next two here it is shakib is missing rohit and then russell same as for name Russell limit to skip one. Here is my second Russell because it's skip first Russell. So this is the basic of limit and skip method. Now I will introduce you with MongoDB Compass where we can see our created database which is school DB and its collection which is students. So go to browser, type here MongoDB, compass download, click this one, you will get this link in video description. Here it is, download. Okay, download done. Click on it. Double click on this exe. Okay, this is the basic interface of Mongo Compass. Now click on it, fill in connection fields individually. <clears throat> Here we have to give a MongoDB hostname, which is 126.0.0.1. Port is okay. Authentication none. Connect. Here it is. Here we can see the existing database of MongoDB. Here is my SchoolDB database, 36 KB. Click on it. Here we can see only one table, which is students that I created, which I created a moment ago. Click on student. Here is the student list that I inserted into this table. By clicking on it, this is the JSON format. This is the grid format. Here we can see edit, copy, clone, delete facilities. Update. Okay. By clicking on this export collection button, we can export our whole table or specific students by doing this query statement this is the basic mongodb compass in my next video tutorial i will make a complete grad operation of blazor project using this mongodb thanks for watching if you like this video then please like comment and share and obviously subscribe my channel for getting new video tutorials thank you